See, all these racist nut chasers do is spew insults and opinions. No facts. No truth. But let me get to him right quick. You wanted to talk about Verrazano. I was talking about Cortez. Well, the book was talking about Cortez. I wouldn't talk about nobody. But since you want to talk about Giovanni de Bar Verrazano, um, let's read what he said in 1524. The complexion of the Carolina Indians is black, not much different from that of the Ethiopians. Their hair is black and thick and not very long, tied back behind their head like a small tail. As for the physique of these men, they are well proportioned. Of medium height, a little taller than we are, they have broad chest, strong arms, and the legs and other parts of the body are well composed. They are broad in the face and have big black eyes. They have a sharp cunning and are agile and swift runners. Oh, I'm not done here. Let me show you something else. Let me school you, boy. Let's take it back to South and Central America. These are the Aztecs. This is the way they describe themselves. And look at what they doing to their ops. And who do they ops look like? And who do they look like? Okay, next. Now, these are the Mayans, right? From the Yucatan region, right? But they, you know, they control. I don't want to get into all that. They migrate. A whole bunch of shit. But this is the way they depicted themselves. When you hear Mayans and shit, when you look up the Bonaparte murals and all of that, you're going to see this is the way they depicted themselves. And who else got locks? Who else wear locks like a part of their culture? You feel me? Come on, son. Again, this is the she, the old she people. You feel me? Who does this look like? Who else used this Afro pics? Who created that? Who been using that in modern times? Like a lot of the stuff I talk about, y'all got to take that and see who does that innately in today's times. Right? Who does this apply to? Hold on right quick. I ain't done yet. Let's take it back to North America, right? Let's take it back to the southeastern region. This is my people. This is where this is where my ancestry at, right? It reads, Atlanta history begins in 1821 when the Creek Indians were supposedly forced off their land during that year in what is now called Metro Atlanta in the book Early History of the Creek Indians by John Swatton. The southeastern tribes were described as the color of the inhabitants is dark brown. They preserve traditions of great antiquity and rhymes and chants, dance and physical exercises are held in honor and they are passionately fond of ball games in which they exhibit the greatest fucking skill. Who the fuck is that? Yo, stop playing with us. Kick rocks, Goofy.